Hey guys, one here. Data science is the sexiest job of the 21st century. Well, this is partially true, and today I'm going to tell you something that not many people tell you about this, this sentence. As a disclaimer, before we start this video, I want to tell you I'm not here to kill your dreams. So if you already decided that you want to become amazing at data science, please just close this video. Don't worry too much about what I have to say. But if you're in the process of becoming a data scientist, or if you're even unsure if this is something you want to pursue, then maybe this is a video that you should be watching. What not a lot of people tell you about data science is that, yes, it is true that once you reach a certain threshold of three to five years of experience, everything you have heard is true. You are going to get an amazing salary. You're probably going to be able to choose where exactly you want to work, and you can maybe even work remotely from wherever you want. It is great. but. It is not that great in those moments in which you are like reaching that level of experience. So the moment that you decide to become an aspiring data scientist until your first three to five years, there's going to be quite a lot of a struggle. And that's what I wanted to tell you today. Three things you need to know is that one, it is one of the most demanding jobs out there. So the data scientists, at least how companies learn to expect them, is somebody that firstly can program like a computer scientist. So this person knows quite a lot about Python, sometimes even uh, Java, Scala, or something along those lines. Secondly, this person is a math genius that knows quite a lot about also statistics. And finally, they also expect somebody that has outstanding soft skills. So somebody who can communicate with everybody in the company, from the stakeholders, the CEO, to the engineers, and it's just a communication rock star also. Without mentioning that some other companies might also expect you to have some sort of domain expertise or some other skills. But just in short, just know it's a very demanding job. And you can accomplish it, but it's going to take you quite a lot of studying and quite a lot of working in your own time to accomplish this. So if you're not fully committed into putting all of these hours that requires for you to be great, maybe it's, it's not a thing for you. Second thing you should know is that even though there is an insane amount of demand for data people in this world, like almost every company will open up their arms for any type of data person. Even in the in the most junior ranks, like many companies will be happy to have a junior data engineer or a junior analyst. But here's the funny thing. Um, most companies are not hiring junior data scientists. In fact, it is probably the only data job where there is an insane surplus of people compared to the amount of vacancies. So the moment you decide to go for this, this position, you are competing with thousands and thousands of people looking to get their first years of experience. And companies just ha will have to make a bet on somebody. Which leads me to my third point, and that is that somebody that companies tend to hire as their first data scientist tends to be a programmer. So if you don't have a background in computer science or if you're not an outstanding programmer already, you come into a position of disadvantage. It's not impossible, but it's, it's true. Check most of the aspiring data scientists. The ones that find a job the quickest are people who have a strong knowledge in programming. More than people that have a background in math or more than people who have a strong sense of business. And you know why? Because if, if you put yourself in the shoes of a company, like the case of most companies, they heard that there is this really cool data science thing. They want to hire their first person. And they quickly realized that hiring one of those unicorns with five or more years of experience, it's super expensive. They're going to say, OK, let's see what is in our price range. And then they're going to have to settle for some sort of 
more junior person who has less experience. And from there, they have the decision to make between somebody that is has already a background in math or statistics, but that is probably going to have to step it up a lot in terms of programming. They have the second option of somebody who is a great programmer, but probably doesn't know the math or the statistics to go with data science, or maybe some sort of other profile that I, I haven't uh, mentioned. Now, if you hire the statistician slash mathematician, you will get models that are slightly more accurate, but, uh, well, from very early on. But this person is going to have much more trouble, like, uh, fully deploying these insights, doing things like uh, fully integrating the output into a web page or into whatever system that you want might be more challenging for this person. And then you have to ask yourself, do I have enough programmers to support this person and to fully just give the IT support and the Python knowledge that this person is lacking? Well, this person steps it up. For most companies, the answer is also no. Uh, there are not enough IT people in this world. So then you go to hiring the programmer or the person who's a very solid in the, progr in the programming side. This, in the worst case, this person can help you out with some things like APIs, databases. It can even support your current team of programmers. Like even if it doesn't work out, uh, a lot of companies would just suddenly make this person a programmer and just, sure, here are some hours a week, do something data science with it. And the beauty of doing that is that they know that even if the models are a bit sloppy, this person is eventually going to step it up and learn the math and create more robust models in the future. And that was everything I wanted to tell you. So data scientists is a possibility. It is a great job once you are very well established in this position and you have some years of experience. But getting there is going to be difficult. And you're not going to hear this opinion quite often because most of the people speaking about data science, they just don't care how many people actually succeed at it. They just want more and more beginners buying their courses or their books. So I thought it was really important to share this perspective with you. If you have any opinion, anything I didn't say, please mention it in the comments. And if you would like more career videos like this, also let me know. I'm happy to tell you about my experience and my opinions. I am personally not a data scientist. I have only worked uh, in data jobs for the last five years. I have plenty of colleagues that are data scientists, and I'm sure many of them will disagree with my opinion. Uh, some of them might. But I just thought it's important to hear, put my opinion, and I hope this is helpful for some of you starting a career. Thank you for watching.